Hello and welcome to Un Café Avec, where we're going to have an intimate and independent EU debate. 72% of Europeans are supporting a European Union of Energy. This union is a top priority for the European Commission and for the institution. It should be based on a fully integrated internal energy market, an energy efficiency in order to consume less and to reduce pollution, and the reduction of emissions to combat climate change. The European Commission has recently produced a report on the state of the energy union. So where do we stand today and how is this linked to the COP21 negotiations in Paris, we're going to talk about this. To discuss this topic, we received Alexandre Paco, the head of unit in DG Climate at the European Commission. He is not the official voice of the Commission, but a specialist who will provide us with technical knowledge on this issue. Our other speaker is Brooke Riley, the expert on climate justice and energy at the NGO Friends of the Earth. In 2016, will be very much a year of delivery for the energy union because in all the uh, dimension of the energy union uh, the commission will come with proposals for instance on greenhouse gas emission uh, how to reduce and ensure that we meet our 40 percent target for 2030 but also in energy efficiency in renewables the first problem is the level of ambition so alexandra mentioned the 40 percent greenhouse gas target well this is the absolute bare minimum which the EU could be doing to be in line with the two degree uh, target. I hear what you say and uh, we might differ on what you call uh, ambitious, but uh, the 40% is the result of a very detailed analysis uh, from the side of the Commission and uh, backed by, by, all, uh, by all member states. The second problem we're facing is the, the Commission's rather mixed position on, on gas. Now, there's a lot of talk, especially from the gas lobby, that one solution to climate change is to simply replace coal with, with gas. It's just replacing one problem with another. Thank you for watching this debate and see you next time at Un Café Avec.